Biblically Centered Kids. Hello and welcome back to Biblically Centered Kids on this lovely Thursday, July 25th, 2024. This is Miss Danica and Mr. Johnny. We are so happy that you are listening today. This week, we're talking all about dedicating time to seek God. If you recall, Virtue D says, we dedicate time each day to seek God in His Word and through prayer. And today is New, New Testament, Testament Thursday. Thursday. We will be reading a story from the New Testament in the Bible that illustrates this week's biblical family virtue. The New Testament contains stories about Jesus' life and some letters and stories from His disciples after Jesus went back to heaven. The Bible is a book given to us from God that tells us all about him. And when we read it, we can discover what he's done in the past and then learn what he has to say to us today. So let's discover God's word where we can find absolute truth, godly wisdom, and the unchanging promises of our creator. Today's story is about Paul and Silas and can be found in the book of Acts chapter 16. Paul and Silas loved God very, very much and always dedicated time each day to seek him through prayer and worship. One day, they were thrown into jail for talking about Jesus. Even though they were in a dark and scary place, they didn't stop praying and singing songs to God. Late one night, about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing songs to God while the other prisoners listened to them. Suddenly, there was a huge earthquake. The ground shook so much that the prison doors flew open and everybody's chains fell off. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors open, he thought all the prisoners had escaped. He was so scared because he thought he would get in big trouble. But Paul shouted, Don't worry, we are all here. The jailer called for lights and rushed in. Trembling with fear, he fell down in front of Paul and Silas. He brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Paul and Silas told him, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your family. Then they spoke about Jesus to him and everyone in his house. That very night, the jailer took care of Paul and Silas and washed their wounds. He and his whole family were baptized right away. Afterwards, the jailer brought Paul and Silas to his home and gave them food. He was so happy along with his entire household because he had believed in God. This story shows us how important it is to seek God every day through prayer and worship, no matter where we are or what situation we are in. Paul and Silas trusted God and prayed even in jail, and God did amazing things because of their faith. When we dedicate time each day to seek God in His Word and through prayer, just like Paul and Silas did, we can experience God's presence and His power in our lives. Whether we're happy, scared, in trouble, God is always with us and hears our prayers. So let's remember to pray and to worship God every day, trusting that He will take care of us and do wonderful things in our lives. Let's pray. God, help us realize how important it is to seek you in your word and in prayer. Help give us courage to seek you even when we don't feel like it, and especially in hard seasons. Thank you for being constant and close. When we seek you, amazing things happen. Help us to use our lives to glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us this Thursday. Don't forget to tell your mom or dad to visit biblicallycentered.com for some free downloads on Biblically Centered Virtue. We are so glad you listened along to our New Testament story today. Until next time.